Greetings all those enrolled in the Humo Raptor 7 channel. This video is to show the abuses and differential treatment that YouTube gives to the big companies and networks and the lack of rights of the simple partner like me. In 2013, tired of the systematic attacks by content ID of companies and networks against my channel, I signed a three-year contract with Network Quiz Group on November 13th. Through their service, they were to give me support in case of false claims and strikes, receiving their payment for their service via PayPal. Since then, what has Quiz Group done? Nothing. In this period, my channel received more than 60 false claims from large companies and networks. Quiz Group never helped me at all. On my own, I overturned all of the false claims. Now there is not even one false claim against my videos. In 2014, I took an unfair YouTube strike for being one of the first to post a documentary showing the true face of the Islamic State. Now, my channel was also one of the first to have a video removed for the terrorist organization on YouTube. I repeatedly asked Quiz Group to help me remove this strike from my channel and they said it was my problem and that they could not do anything. Then I went on to show YouTube that my video was a documentary and that it did not hurt the policy of YouTube. Meanwhile, Quiz Group records my channel's more than 63 million views on its track record and continues to take 20% of my payout without helping me at all. Quiz Group even changed the form of payment from PayPal by claiming there was an error. This never happened before. My account has always been the same as shown in this email sent to Quiz Group. That alone was already cause for a breach of contract, but I resolved to keep the contract to the end. Three months ago, I emailed Quiz Group support in advance stating that I do not intend to renew my contract that expired on November 13th, 2016. They never responded to me and declined my request to unlink from the network. For you to see how this YouTube policy is shameful, on 11-15-2016, I got in touch with YouTube support and copyright and sent a screenshot of my account and the contract showing that it had ended on 11-13-2016. They did not answer me. How many people did not report these companies for failing to deliver? But this is the policy of YouTube. They do not respect their small partners. Big companies do not have to prove anything to YouTube. Where is a contract signed by me which authorizes Quiz Group to manage my account as of 11-14-2016? Which document proved that Taiwanese TV was copyrighted in this exclusive video on my channel with 11 million more views? I want to see them being that arrogant in court. In the next video in the series, I'll show you how YouTube uses correct content for advertisers to discourage a content creator from talking about some themes besides censoring names of countries, people, political parties, and news.